Hi, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your 2020 yearly tarot reading forecast with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a general overview on what you can expect on your upcoming year of 2020 so you know what to expect, anticipate, and prepare for for the upcoming year. And how this goes is that I pick one card per month to give us a general overview and idea on how your month uh, per, how your year per month is going to be transpiring. So remember that this is just a general reading. So this will be just talking about things in general, the theme and focus of each month of the year. So um, yeah, so I don't expect this to be very resonating to each and every Scorpius out there, but only time can tell. So um, yeah, um, let's start the reading by going over the cards. Um, for January, we do have this Eight of Wands. So this is like a sudden windfall, like unexpected things could be happening for you. It could be a sudden news of some kind that is quite unexpected. That you don't know, you didn't expect things to occur that way or you didn't expect a news to come. I don't know. It's like a very surprising event. It could be a news. It could be a certain event of some sort that can really throw you off guard. But the Eight of Wands can have this energy of good tidings and good news. So this could be a very good surprise. It can be exciting as well. So that is a really good um, energy to start off the year. And as you go over to February, you do have this Ace of Cups. And this is really giving us a, a really nice tone to things. It is a new beginning. It could be an offer of some kind. You might get um, an invitation to something that could be related to your love life or relationship. So it has a re very, very good energy. And even though it's not about love, this can be really good in your personal life and in your career as well. So I kind of feel, you know, there could be blessings um, through this month of February for you guys. With March though, um, I feel that for March and April, um, you can be quite risky. This Seven of Swords is a very risky card wherein you're willing to take the risk even though that you might be doing something that you're not supposed to do. Maybe you're wanting to do a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, um, and I don't know, I just kind of feel that it's quite risky. You could be dealing with someone that is a manipulator of some kind. That is also possible. This can also be a situation wherein you are focused on planning things. You might be um, setting some form of goals in your life that you wanted to do and wanted to manifest. And I would say that this is not the time for you to... Um, do things out of the blue like don't do things by the whim you need to be thorough you need to plan things carefully and you need to take life a little bit more seriously because you know I kind of feel that the energies of 2020 requires some form of patience and implementing things and requires us to take another look on various things in our life and with the seven of swords here it tells us to be more careful because we might be handling something more than you know we should or what we can actually handle so you need to be careful of that being happy and happy-go-lucky easy going is all good but we need to draw the line you know we need to be serious at times and this could be the year of being really more mature and serious with life. We cannot just go back and forth into something and um, can and get away scratch free. Life is not like that anymore, especially for this year and this time. So as we go over to April, we have this the full card. So like I said, 
March and April can be a tricky time for you wherein you're not thinking of consequences. You, you know, you might be thinking of what you want on the go and not thinking of other people that are around you. This can be a situation wherein you might be starting from scratch all over again. A new beginning of some kind can really happen. This can also manifest wherein someone enters your life. Someone uh, probably will pursue you like a soother or some kind. Um, you know, someone idealistic, I would say. Does it mean that they are going to say what they wanted to, what they are offering you? You know, those kinds of things. The full card is, you know, literally sometimes depicted as the full. So um, there are things that you need to be aware of during this time. Make sure that you are not doing things that will cause your own downfall. So this could also be a time of taking a leap of faith and just trusting life and trusting the universe. Interestingly enough, though, I really find it interesting where if you notice the background of the cards, they seem to be like, you know, in one setup, that kind of thing. So maybe you're working for someone or um, there could be something, an event could be connected between March and April. So if that is the case, maybe risk is a big theme for you during this time. And I don't know, I kind of feel that these two months are going to be something that you need to be aware of and to make sure that you're not fooling around too much and making sure that, you know, um, you're doing things with integrity in place. This can also be a time where, and you know, you, you just want to start afresh, start a new beginning, a new cycle of your life with whatever area. I kind of feel that the first um, six months for Scorpios can be like a situation wherein you're still adapting to the energy of the year. And as you can see, the first six months here can be quite of a, uh, a solo energy. Like, it's also not very stable, unlike how it is on the, ne the next set of cards that we have here. So I kind of feel that that plays a certain role for a Scorpio rising, Scorpio sun, and Scorpio moon people. So, um, yeah, as we go over to... May, we do have this Knight of Pentacles. So this can be um, someone serious, someone practical coming in your life. Or it could be you making an offer to someone. This is a point where in slow and steady wins the race. So maybe you are done with the risk factor. You're done playing around. And maybe you have realized something. <clears throat> in your situation so this could be an offer of some kind or this can be a message um of great importance that is coming in for you and it can have a really wonderful tone to things as well you know i kind of feel that you know despite all the ups and downs that a lot of scorpio people are going to experience it has quite of a happy tone to it because as you guys can see the overall cards you know we do have quite a lot of yellows here where it, we're in there is some form of vibration and vitality throughout the year for you and some form of happiness in the air as well. So as we go over to June, you need to be careful of the way you speak and the way you handle communication and conversations to people because you might just hurt them. The Queen of Swords can be quite strict, quite, um, I don't know. Um, can be harsh and demanding as well. So you may need to be careful about that if this is you. This can also be a time wherein you might ha ha need to handle someone of this energy that you need to please. And the thing here is that no matter what you do, they are not going to be happy about it. They're not, they're not easy to please. 
So um, rather than resisting the energy, this is advisable that you just go with the flow. Just go with what they want, especially if you're trying to mend things in a relationship, you know. It's better to just um, follow what they wanted you to do or something like that. If you really wanted to pay back all of the negativity that you have caused them. I mean, it really depends. But I kind of feel that this is a situation wherein you might need to follow through on something. Whether you like it or not, you like the situation or not, you need to deal with things over here. So as we go over to July, we have the death card. So this can be a time of ending. So there could be something ending in your life, an ending of a relationship, an ending of something. Or it could also be some form of new beginning because the death card always means an ending or a new beginning of some kind. So uh, it really will depends on your personal situation, I would say. But it is a card of transformation. So whether you are transforming, whether your transformation is emotional, physical, or mental, something is changing in you. And maybe this is you becoming more mature, becoming more serious with life, learning from past mistakes, and all those kinds of things. There is going to be some form of order in your life. There could be some form of news that can really wake you up as well, I would say. So as we go over to August, we do have the Justice card. So I'm getting that this could be a relationship that is finally going to be sealed up, like um, a relationship that has a form of label, has some form of balance as well. So I would say that this could be a situation wherein you finally get together with someone and everything is all in order. This can also be a situation wherein you might deal uh, you might deal to correct something in your life, needing a form of balance in place because when a justice card comes up, there is always something that you need to fix, that you need to work on, that you need to rebalance and reharmonize to make things all better that kind of energy in place so as we go over now to september we do have the six of wands and this is a bringer of good news and good tidings there could be you know you might be struggling on one area of your life and finally you are receiving the results of all of those all of those hard work and hard efforts there could be some form of good news that can come from this um, like uh, finally we are having a relief. There is some form of rejoice that we are going to be experiencing. So it is. Ha it has a tone of happy situations and happy life overall. And as we go over to October, we also have this Knight of Swords. So we do have quite a lot of Knights here. We do have two Knights. And even though um, the Six of Wands is not a Knight, it gives an energy as if it is a knight because it has the horse with it, you know, along with the death card and the sun. So, like, it makes me feel that, you know, something is entering your life. Um, sometimes in a fast pace, sometimes in a steady one. But, yeah, there is a form of messenger coming through for the year of 2020 for you guys. So for the Nine of Swords, this can be an abrupt news. It could be someone that suddenly makes his way towards you. It could be a news that suddenly comes to you. So we are really getting that form of news that can be, uh, can give you some form of relief, whatever news or topic um, you are in concern with. This can also be a situation wherein finally someone is fighting through something. Confrontation could be very strong as well. Um, yeah, this can also be a situation wherein someone can enter fast in your life and leave just as fast as well. So um, yeah, I would say that this is more of a healthy confrontation 
that is very possible to transpire for the month of October. As we go to November, there is a like a vibration of good news, good tidings. This is a very happy card. This is a, a child as well. So you might be having a lot of fun. There is something to celebrate. There's something to be happy about. There's really, it, it feels like there is a sense of joy that you are going to experience, that you are going to receive, that you haven't really experienced in such a long time. So that is a really wonderful card, I would say, because it makes you feel alive once again. So yeah, there is really something to be happy for, for those that are in the sign of Scorpio. And for December, we do have this two of pentacles coming in. We're in, it tells us that you might need to balance two things. There is something that you are working on. There is a work in progress going on here. And I kind of feel that you are at the point where in you are working through something um, in the material world and in your emotional life as well. So um, yeah. This could be also a situation wherein you're making a major decision in your life. It could be major, it could be not, but you are making a decision on what is worth it and what is not. So, um, yeah. And um, what else did I miss out? I kind of feel that this can be um, a situation wherein you are thinking if you should go forward to the future or not. I don't know. Because of this defeat of this guy looking to the future and looking to the past. So I'm kind of having that feeling wherein there is a sense that this decision has a relation to his past or his future. So yeah. And also... This can be a time wherein your emotions can be rampant and getting high and low, high and low, those kinds of energy. So yeah, decision making is going to be big for you as you end the year. Now, uh, we have the advice card here of the tower card. And this is definitely a card of surprise and sudden breakthroughs, sudden downfalls. But... Um, the message here for 2020 for you guys is to, I kind of feel that I'm really focused on this tower, like without the, the fire and all, everything like that. So I kind of feel that the message for 2020 is to stand strong to your beliefs and what you really want and to not get sidetracked by a, by by temptations and you know other unnecessary things that could come up in your life i kind of feel that this is a situation wherein it's telling you to stay true to yourself and don't get easily influenced by other people and what they do what they say and what they think of you you need to be more grounded during the, the year of 2020 and um just stay true to yourself is going to be very important as well. So, um, yeah, Scorpius, you do have quite of an interesting year ahead for 2020. Um, I really don't see anything that special to it, aside from the fact that, you know, there will be good news. And there is going to be some form of relief that you are going to experience. And there is going to be some form of success as well. But other than that, you know, it's more of some form of warnings of, take, of playing around too much and taking a risk on things that are not worth it. And, you know, trying to resolve things that you made a mistake from the past, you know trying to correct them is more of what I'm getting here and making decisions for your futures as well. So, um, yeah, this is the reading for you guys, Scorpio. I do hope that in one way or another, even though it may not be interesting for some of you, you might find it very insightful all at the same time. So if you'd like a more personal reading with me, um, 
not a general reading like this one, but one that is very specific for your for you and your situation, you can do so by going to my website in the stars by Chrissy.com or you can just email me at in the stars by Chrissy at gmail.com. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.